Installing Windows 10 Pro on iMac. Don't make this bootcamp mistake. Thanks to CDK Offers for sponsoring this video. Bootcamp is a piece of software from Apple that allows Intel-based Macs to split their internal drive to dual boot to Windows. It's famously simple to use and automatically installs all of the drivers that you need for your Mac. So why have I always struggled? I had to find out. For the latest Apple news, rumors and leaks, every weekday at 12 UTC, join us in the iCave. So why am I doing this? Well, since Apple Silicon is now here and doesn't support Windows right now in either bootcamp or in any practical way virtualized, an Intel Mac is the only way to go. And at least half of my Steam library is full of games that I just can't play through Mac OS. Also, when I told people that I'd wasted days before trying to get this working, I was told it's super easy and that I basically sucked for not having it worked out already. I do love a bit of encouragement from a supportive community. So I fired up Bootcamp, grabbed a USB drive and I was all ready to go. Clicked continue. Bootcamp Assistant has encountered a problem. An internal error has occurred. Twitter, anyone got a clue? Talk to Apple support, they said. Fine. Apple support on the phone. I started chatting as I often do. Oh yes, my iMac's running off an external SSD because the internal drive's really, really slow. It's a 2013. Ah, oh, well, there's your issue. So, because Bootcamp is designed to partition your internal drive, which is generally a boot drive, it was seeing that it was empty and just caused it to instantly become confused and give up. So, I cleared the internal drive, which had got just a few video files sitting on as a backup, moved them over to an external drive, booted up into recovery mode, and put a clean install of Catalina on there. Once all that was done, I opened up Bootcamp in that clean install, and it worked perfectly. Now it all makes sense. So I downloaded Windows 10 directly from the Microsoft website and headed over to cdkoffers.com to grab my Windows 10 Pro key. If you're going to do this, you might as well do it right, that's what I say. And thanks to CDK Offers for sponsoring this video. Unlike with Bootcamp in the first place, this was a super easy process. I paid easily and securely through PayPal and we're good to go. So back over to Bootcamp, which has been doing its work in the background, turning the Windows 10 ISO into a bootable on the USB drive along with the assistant files that I needed to get everything going as well as partitioning that internal drive that I hadn't been using with a 300 gigabyte NTFS partition to install it on. So when it finishes the iMac then restarts uh, and runs the Windows installer automatically which is just as you'd expect. It takes the normal amount of Windows time to install this and because obviously I am installing on a spinning hard drive inside the iMac it's a little bit slower than it would be on an SSD. But after entering my Windows 10 Pro key, we're all set up with a working installation of Windows that is just a simple restart away. Just hold Option when booting and you'll get the boot option screen where you can choose which OS to boot into from here on out. So there it is guys, a fully working Intel iMac running Windows as an option that I can play all of my old Windows games on at full performance with a nice dose of nostalgia for my childhood. Thanks to cdkoffers.com for making this video possible. I'm off to go and play some Command & Conquer at this point. Please check out the link to their site in the description. And of course, if you want all the latest Apple news, leaks and rumours each and every weekday at 12 UTC, don't forget to like this video, subscribe and ring my bell. If you do all of that to join my notification squad, leave me a comment down below with notification squad as a hashtag so that I can give you a shout out in the next video. And also please let me know what you will be using Windows for on your Mac. You're going to be doing a bit of gaming, a bit of office work, some old software that you haven't been able to use since you moved over to Mac. I'd love to know. Please let me know in the comments. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, I've been David Ian Sangwell in the iCave.